Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thank you for watching. In this video, I want to show you something new I learned, and that is parsing XML within an action that I can then use in Flow Designer. So what am I up to? I'm trying to manage the Tokyo feature releases, and I'm trying to get out in front of it so I know what I've covered and what I want to cover. And the approach I'm taking is I'm going to grab the site map or site maps from the ServiceNow doc site. So what I had to figure out was how you parse XML, which is what those sitemaps are. So the first step that I'm going to do is I'm going to do a REST step. I want to basically call um, and get that XML file from ServiceNow. So I'm going to define my connection in line. I'm going to set the base URL to docs.servicenow.com. Hopefully you are very familiar with that site. And I'm going to set the path for that to sitemap.xml. Now, of course, I looked this up before making the video that that's the actual path for that, and that's it. That's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna test that, and uh, the reason I wanna test that is I wanna grab the XML so that I can use that in the parse XML step. So I'm gonna go over the execution details. This is also a good way to confirm that my REST step actually worked. We'll come down here and look at the response body, and we see the response body has a bunch of files in there, or a bunch of XML. So if you look really closely, um, this is going to be a couple part video. The sitemap.xml for the doc site is actually a list of sitemap parts. So the site's so big that it exceeds the 10 megabyte limit for a sitemap. And so they're broken into about 29 or 30 sitemap parts that we're going to actually go through in, uh, in my flow designer. But for the purpose of this video, I want to show you how to parse XML, which is I, I've learned today. I didn't know how to do it before. So we're going to grab this XML parser step um, that we're going to add to the action after we make that REST call. So I've got the step. I can specify the source data, so right here, by using the response body from my REST app, right? Because that has the XML in it. So I just drag and drop it here. But notice, and above my head, I still don't have an object that I can actually use. So what you do is you take that XML that I just copied when I tested it, paste it into this window over here, and then we can generate the target object. So you see here I've got now my sitemap index with my sitemap, which is an array, and inside that is a location and a last modified coming from that sitemap. So I've got everything I need there now in this particular step to pass back to my workflow and actually use it in my flow to go grab the individual sitemaps. So last step I gotta do here is I gotta create an out output. And so we'll just set this one to um, docs high uh, level sitemaps. It's gonna be my variable and I'll go ahead and say, make that this name of it as well. We'll keep the underscores. It is going to be a string. Let's see, is it a string or do I have a complex object? So, there is, let's do an array object like this, um, and yeah, that should have everything I need, and once I'm done with that, now I should be able to drop in my sitemap index, which is right here, it's kind of above my head, um, so when I did that XML parser step, it created the sitemap index object, so I'm going to take that, and I'm going to drag it in, um, so object is not allowed here, that's interesting. What does it want? Edit outputs. Let's see. Uh, let's go change this to an object. Let's try that and have, get out of exit mode. And then we'll try drop it, dropping that in again, which it does let me. And so now I have I did a REST query, parsed the XML, created an object, and now I can use that object within my flow to go do the same thing again, basically, and retrieve each of one of those XML files. And then from that, I'm gonna start working through the different pages when they are last updated, and I should be able to start pulling in all the features um, by reading those pages. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody who you think might be interested in XML parsing within ServiceNow. And until next time, don't forget to always be learning.